Ah, well, hello, everybody. Happy Friday. You know, bust-outs were a bit of a theme for this summer tour, and, uh, well, we didn't get a ton of them. We had a few that were, um, I don't know, I suppose, like, what's the word? They were, uh, they were big, you know? I don't know, legendaries a bit much, but they, they were huge bust-outs, you know? Ficus, for example. That was one, uh, coming from all the way back to 1998, and I think, you know, briefly before Ficus, maybe there was another one. That went back pretty far, and the first one that jumped out at me just off the top of my head was Waiting All Night. Turns out it has not been that long on Waiting All Night, only 2021. <clears throat> but then before that, it was 2019. So um, that would be, I suppose, a bust out. And look, it has to be a song they played more than just a few times, too. There's a ton of songs that they played, uh, you know, one, two, three, four times, maybe, that have been sitting around since the early 90s, but uh, I didn't really count those necessarily. Then uh, I had a, there's a difference too, quite a few covers. Like, you know, sometimes I often want to complain about the covers, but they have sort of hit and refresh on the covers. Uh, check out all these cover songs that were at one time really regulars Jesus Left Chicago, Whipping Post, Curtis Lowe, Quinn the Eskimo, LaGrange, and Rocky Top. All of those somewhat vacant now for quite a while. Um, but it's not really about the covers, you know, although I would, you know, obviously I think we would all like a whipping post. I think some of us thought it was even coming this summer. I like Paige getting down on Curtis Lowe. Quinn the Eskimo is a lot of fun. Again, Paige with Jesus Left Chicago. Maybe Paige has got some really cool original songs. He doesn't really need those anymore. So let's get back to some of the originals. Time Turns Elastic. That one comes up a lot, and that is one that, um, I could do without. Has not been played since 2010, and I'm okay with that. Devotion to a Dream, been sitting on the shelf since 2016. Like, <clears throat> okay, every now and then would be all right. Maybe it was a bit overplayed back in uh, that 14, 15, 16 range. So uh, maybe if they went really, really light on devo Devotion to a Dream, I'd be okay with that. Daniel Saw the Stone, obviously. Uh, that's That would be one that we could all use again. Friday. Now, if you never went to a show in 2003, you deserve a Friday. 2016 was the last one we got. Didn't even play it at the Baker's Dozen. <clears throat> Anything But Me been sitting around since 2011 with no action. Megilla, you got to go all the way back to Deer Creek 2003 for a Megilla. Now, that's one that would probably require some uh, effort and time and practice by the band. But um, come on, get your shit together and do it. Band. All right. In law, in law Josie Wales. Been sitting around since 2000. Not really missed. Was only played, you know, a handful of times anyhow. And then, like I mentioned, Waiting All Night. That was all that I came up with. And the ones that I really would like to see come firing back. Daniel Saw the Stone. They could throw that in as a regular. I don't care. Maybe open up a show with it once or twice a summer. Fall. Anything but me. You know, they got a lot of songs that are, you know, that kind of vibe. Vibe. I can't believe I just said vibe. I don't like vibe, man. Too much vibe out there. I try to I try to take it easy on the vibe. A lot of vibe. Everything's a vibe, you know. I ain't gonna get into that. Time turns elastic, whatever. But yeah, Daniel saw the stone. Anything but me, Megilla. Even waiting all night. A song I did not like. Waiting all night, you know, at all. Back in fourteen, fifteen, whatever. <clears throat> And I'm, there might be something I'm missing. I don't know. Is there one out there that, um, you know, we're not talking about like Dear Mrs. Reagan or something, you know. And there are all, a whole bunch of Fishman songs. Whether if, if I only had a brain, touch me. You know, there's a whole bunch of things that bike. A eh, bike maybe. I don't know. Bike might have been played recently. Well, anyways, there's a lot of those. I don't really count those either. Although a, a proper touch me would be nice. <sighs> But, you know, the album was called Evolve. And still, like, like I started, I kind of touched on a little bit yesterday in the Walnut video. Not really. And you guys did suggest some really good covers, actually. Uh, Sublimes, Bad Fish was a good one. Um, somebody else threw out R.E.M. was in there. That was a good suggestion. Maybe somebody said Soundgarden. I like that. A guy wanted some of the, uh, if they were going to do a Guided by Voices, he, uh, he had a suggestion. So, yeah, there were some good suggestions. You guys were better at what they should cover than I was. I didn't have a whole lot. I think I was like, I don't know, Pearl Jam, Black Sabbath? Uh, I didn't really come up with much. And nobody did answer, why do jam bands tend to not cover other jam bands? You know, I know Twiddle laid down a pretty nasty hood about a decade ago. But other than that, uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of jam band on jam band crime really going on out there. Eggy. 
damn Aggie beat fish to interior people, unfortunately. Just let fishmen do let me mend the past. Put tray on drums. Be a good time. Boom, we're out of here. But if you want to get crazy, you know. Well, I don't know. I don't know what getting crazy is for fish these days. Playing the in-law Josie Wales. A great song title, I gotta say. All right, boom, we're out of here. Thank you, guys. Walnut Week will continue, if you're worried.